If you want to know the fastest way to get a Streamlit app up and running on your Mac, I'm going to show you how to get Python and Anaconda up and running with a super simple environment manager so you can run any Streamlit app like my AI prompt library in minutes. So let's go. If you're new to the channel, my name is Camo and I love helping people figure out how to make artificial intelligence work for you. We have all these amazing tools in the world, but we're still working too damn hard. And I've made it my mission to make sure that your work and your life gets easier with AI. And today I'm going to show you specifically how to get Anaconda installed on your Mac. I'm running the cheapest possible M2 that I could buy in 2024 and then how to get Streamlit installed, how to clone a GitHub repo of my prompt library and then run my prompt library all in just a couple of minutes. Let's get into step one, how to download and install Anaconda to get up and running. Now, Anaconda is a environment manager for Python applications and specifically it makes it really easy to run Streamlit. So we just go over to anaconda.com and if we look in the upper right corner here, it says free download. That's exactly what we want because we want to download this wonderful GUI interface. So if you click on that, it's going to ask you for your email address. You don't have to give it to them. You can click the skip registration. It's the jam. And then just click download for Mac. And when you do this, it's going to ask you if you want it for Apple Silicon or Intel. You got to pick. I'm running an M2. So for me, that's Apple Silicon. So that's going to start my download. Once that download's done, I can come over to my downloads directory. And you can see here, I've got this download in progress. It's going to take a couple minutes to get because evidently this is using a really slow mirror. But once this is all said and done, what you're going to do is launch that application, install it, accept all the defaults that you need in order to get it installed in your system, then go to your applications directory, and that will take you to the wonderful Anaconda Navigator right here. Now, this is super cool because what this allows us to do is you'll start off on the home screen, which will have a bunch of these icons. You can dive deep into what Anaconda is, but I'm here just to give you the basics on this. We're going to simply go to the environments right here in the upper left corner, and then you're going to click on Create. And once you have this create, you're going to give it a new name. So let's just call this like Streamlit 1 because this is awesome. You'll choose your version of Python, do whatever you need to do here, but just click create. And what that's going to do is take a couple minutes here to create this environment. You can see down here, it's installing all kinds of cool stuff. It's getting this environment ready to rock and roll. And we're going to fast forward to the magic of the internet. And as you can see, now we've got this new Streamlit 1 environment up and running. So what you're going to do is click on this play button and then click open terminal. Once that happens, it's going to give you a really cool terminal window, and I am going to make this thing gigantic so that we can see exactly what we're doing over here in the window. And all we're going to do is some basic installations for Streamlit. So we're going to do pip install Streamlit. All right, and that took about two and a half minutes on my side. All right, now that we've got this installed, I want to call out one very critical thing. You'll notice up here in the corner where it says Streamlit 1 in parentheses, that's telling you that you're inside of that virtual environment and that you're only operating in there. So now that we've installed Streamlit, what we're going to do is test it. So we're just going to do Streamlit hello, hit enter. And what that's going to do is pop a new tab open. I'll drag it down here so you can see exactly what this is going to do. And here's our new Streamlit application. We know that it's up and running. So now that we've got that, we've got to come back and do a couple other things. So the first thing that we need to do is go to GitHub. And what we're going to do is go to the prompt library. Again, all the links for everything that I'm talking about are going to be in the description below. Go to the prompt library that I've created. Click on this code button here in the middle and then HTTPS and click this copy command. Now we're going to come back up to this terminal window. I'm going to hit command Z, which is going to break out of that Streamlit application. So it's no longer going to be running. And what we're going to do is we're going to clone this repo. So all I'm going to do is take the exact copy that it just pulled when I clicked the copy button inside of GitHub and I'm just going to hit paste. And that is going to start copying everything over and get all the files from my prompt library and put them right here. So now you've got your environment set up. Anaconda's managed all that for you. You've got Streamlit installed and it's going to be ready forever now. And you've cloned the repo. So now all that's left to do is actually run the specific prompt library. So when you clone that repo, it creates a folder. So we can just type CD and KMO, which is the only one that's going to pop up here. Hit tab to autocomplete it. Get into that. And then simple Streamlit run and pb4.py. When you do that, Streamlit's going to pop. I'll drag this down into the other window one more time so you can see this thing up and running. And here we go. Camo's prompt creation tool is up and running. You can go to the element editor or you can go right in and start populating stuff. So you'll need to create elements for the prompt library, but then you can go right into prompt builder and build your exact prompts. 
that's how you get this thing up and running. My next video in this series is going to be exactly how I use Cursor and Claude 3.7 now to create this prompt library tool from scratch in a really short amount of time. All right, so that was fun. If you like videos like this, you're going to love my overview of that custom prompt library. It's free to anybody. Links are in the description and maybe some of my other videos on AI. And if you like this style, hit that subscribe button so you're always updated on the latest from the channel. I want you to be future proof and with Camo, you can't.